Cook La Vie with Sarah brought to you by Rembrandt Hotel, Bangkok, Thailand. Senor Pico Modern Mexican and Tequila Bar, Da Vinci Restaurante Italiano, Rang Mahal Rooftop Indian Restaurant, and Red Pepper Seafood at its best, all located at Rembrandt Hotel, Bangkok, Thailand. Namaste, Auntie. I'm so thrilled to be here. I've always been wanting to be on your show, and here I am on your show, right next to you. It's just like a dream come true. I've always been telling my, in fact, telling my family to please speak to someone and allow me to be here on your show and learn some good cooking tips from you. And I'm so thrilled to be here. Thank you for letting me be here. It's a pleasure to have you, Shamila, on our show. Yeah, thank you. And welcome. Pleasure is all mine, Auntie. Thank you for having me here. Hola, Mia. Hola. Ah, so you know what we're cooking. I'm not quite sure, but I'm sure we're very mamacita. There you go. You know what we're making. So we're making some Mexican food today. We've got spinaca dip, we've got uh, ensalada de lote, and we've got chipotle casserola. Wow, that sounds rico. First one is the spinach dip, spinaca okay. dip, for which we have some chopped spinach here. You could use fresh spinach or frozen. We've got some uh, cream cheese, which is at room temperature, some salsa, store-bought or homemade, and some evaporated milk, some cheese, Jack Monterey cheese, which is not that easily available everywhere. So you could substitute it with cheddar cheese, any sharp okay. cheddar cheese would do, olives, jalapenos, Red wine, vinegar, salt and white pepper. Simple, isn't it? Let's see how simple it is. Does it sound it that simple? <laughs> it is. When you see, you'll say, this is what is cooking, that's all. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, we're going to take some spinach here. I'm going to make it sound a little more elaborate. For sure. So that it is not that simple. Okay. Sure. We've got some salsa. Do you make salsa at home? No, not no? at all. Okay, so we use the store bought. It's okay. But would you like to mix this for me? Yeah, sure. Okay. I think it'll be better that way then. Come. I'll give you the ingredients, you start mixing. We've got some cheese here. I've grated it. Evap milk. Some cream cheese, which actually should be in room temperature. That makes it easier to mix it. Some vinegar, red wine vinegar. If you don't have it, lime juice or regular vinegar will do. Some black olives, which I've chopped and kept here. Jalapenos, this will spice it up. You like spicy food, I'm sure? Yes, I'm sure. Yeah. A little bit of salt. I won't put too much because our cheese has a little bit of salt. Some white pepper powder. Are you doing okay, Shamila? I'm doing great. So far, so good? So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just make sure it's mixed well and we'll take it out in this. So this goes in the oven for about 15-20 minutes till it's bubbling. Okay. And that's about it. You're done. Your dip is done. That's it? Yeah. Oh, that was so simple. Yeah. I told you it's not going to be that difficult. There you go. We'll put it in the oven for about 15-20 minutes till you see it bubbling. Okay. And then you serve it hot with your corn chips. Oh, sounds yummy. So, until while it's cooking, I still have so many questions. So, once I make this spinach dip, for how long can I keep it? Can I freeze it? Can I... Or is it only a day use? As long as it's kept in a very tight container, it can be frozen. You can make a, a whole lot of quantity 
split it into small boxes and freeze it. So you can take out a portion at a time. Can we say at least a month? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And when I prepare these ingredients, mm. can I just store them in the fridge and at the time when I need to cook, can I just use them immediately or it has to be as fresh while you cook? Most of your ingredients are very easy to keep, like your evaporated milk, it comes in cans. Yeah. So that's there in the house. And store-bought salsa, it has a year or two expiry, so that is easy. Frozen spinach is available if you don't want to use fresh. Okay. And uh, jalapenos are bottled. So all the ingredients, anytime you're doing your grocery shopping, oh. can be bought. It's a very handy recipe to have. So you have most of these things in the house. All you need is to put them together. Yeah, you just yes. mix in together and it's very good when you have last minute guests. When you eat it, it looks very complicated, it's very tasty. But nobody would guess, you just mix a few things together. Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. Yeah. Okay, now I think our dip is ready. Uh, we should get it out of the oven. Yes, sure, can't yeah. wait. The dip is ready. Yes. I've uh, garnished it with some olives and jalapenos, and it goes very well with corn chips. Looks very appetizing. Yeah. So we go to our next dish, which is a salad, grilled corn salad. Okay. So. That'll be a little more work than this one. I'm ready. <laughs> Hot spinach dip. One salsa, store bought jar. One spinach, frozen thawed and drained. Half a cup Monterey Jack cheese, shredded. One cream cheese, softened. One cup evaporated milk. One black olive can, drained and chopped. One tablespoon red wine vinegar. Salt and pepper to taste. Sliced jalapenos, optional. Preheat oven to 200 degrees. In a medium baking dish, mix together salsa, chopped spinach, Monterey Jack cheese, cream cheese, evaporated milk, black olives, red wine vinegar, jalapenos, salt and pepper. Bake mixture in the preheated oven for 12 to 15 minutes or until bubbly. Serve hot. Well, I think every word in this uh, cooking, it was really great, very awesome and beautiful. We're going to make insalata di lote, which is a grilled corn salad. Okay. We'll be grilling this corn. Now, the grilling the corn adds real good flavor to the salad. Okay. And all the sweet, the sugar in the corn gets caramelized. And that gives a very dense flavor to the salad. We're going to brush it with olive oil, salt and pepper and grill it. Okay. Yeah. This is one thing. And then we'll make a cilantro vinaigrette which is cilantro leaves. Then we've got jalapenos, shallots, sherry vinegar, some olive oil or avocado oil. If you can get avocado oil, that's the best. If not, okay. olive oil and some salt. That's our vinaigrette. And these are the rest of the vegetables which will go into the salad. Some cherry tomatoes, roasted peppers. You can get all three colors. They look nice and colorful. Some avocado and okay. olive oil. Corn is grilled here. Okay. When you're doing it on the gas top grill, yeah. you brush it with olive oil and some salt and pepper. Okay. It can be easily done. And if you're in a hurry, boil corn and you can grill it after boiling. Okay. And try and choose young tender corn because if you get dry corn, no matter how you're going to cook it, boil it, it's still not going to be tasty. Frozen corn is available, but this is tastier. The sugar, as I said earlier, the sugar in the corn gets caramelized when you're grilling mm -hmm. and that really adds flavor to the dish. So okay. frozen corn does not do justice to it. You've got your tomatoes and cucumbers, peppers ready. Let's mix the 
vinaigrette. We've got uh, sherry vinegar. Should I do the mixing? Yeah, sure. You want to whisk it together? Whatever you're comfortable with. Try with the whisk. Some shallots. Shallots are the small red onions that you get. Garlic. So have you always had the passion to cook? Yeah. Or was it by passion or by chance? <laughs> I don't think cooking can happen by chance. Either you love it or you don't love it. Okay. If you don't like it, you'll cook it just to feed everybody because you're forced to. Okay. <laughs> so has it been from a very young age? Yeah, from the time I know myself. Wow. From the age of maybe five, six that I'm cooking. So do you think learning cooking is always happens the earlier the better or when the passion comes it's it just comes with you there are always exceptions but usually either you love cooking and when you love cooking it's it's very different you can just rustle up things put anything together meal together with whatever you have at home but if you're forced to cook and you start cooking at a later age then it's a chore it's a job it's a job right yeah you seem to be very interested in cooking i have been very keen on learning to cook so basically when I'm cooking if I'm short of ingredients I just pick up anything and just put it in there. and mix it there you and go. just try to create a new dish but I never know if it comes out right so I don't know people who are telling me it's tasting good mm. so is it sort of a motivation for me if it's tasting good or if it's actually tasting good no the, the fact that you can do it that shows you have a passion for cooking yes maybe you should come one of these days for my cooking class sure I'll definitely be there yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you're the busy one you'll be traveling around teaching doing a cooking show <laughs> some salt some white pepper powder okay so this is our dressing and I'll mix the rest of the ingredients Okay. We've got a grilled corn here, cherry tomatoes which I've already halved and kept, cucumber which is diced. Okay. Cucumber comes in two sizes, they have those big ones and the small ones. So usually which cucumber is better? I would use the one with the less seeds which is the bigger ones. Okay. I think you call them English cucumbers and the one which you're talking about is Thai cucumber, the, the small smaller one ones. which is full of seeds. Yes. I wouldn't use those here. Some roasted peppers. I've got all three colors just to add color to the salad. Some avocado. Now, avocado, if you're cutting and keeping while you're preparing, just sprinkle a little bit of lime juice on it because it oxidizes, it turns dark. We've got all colors in here. It's mm -hmm. as colorful as the ambiance we are in here, this Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Yes, Matches yeah. with that. <laughs> Some lemon juice, olive oil. Olive oil because of the taste or uh, can it be any sort of cooking oil? No, no. For salads it has to be extra virgin olive oil. Okay. We've added a little bit of avocado oil in that, okay. in the dressing and a little here. Okay. Okay, now we can put in our dressing. Don't put all of it, I think that's a lot. Salt and pepper, black pepper powder, a little bit of salt. Now you have to taste and tell me if the salt and all is okay, or if you need some more of the dressing. Mm, I think it's perfect. Salt is okay? It's perfect. Do we need more of that? No, I think no? it's perfect. Right. So here you go. We've got a grilled corn salad with cilantro vinaigrette. Yeah, this is what? What did you say in the beginning? Mama Mamacita. Mama Sita. <laughs> Take this out in the spoon. All for you. Thank you. And it's beautiful <laughs> and it's yummy and it's easy. As pretty you. as you are. Oh, as thank you. As colorful as you are. Thank you. Grilled corn salad with cilantro vinaigrette. Six ears corn, one cup roasted peppers, drained and chopped. Two cups cherry tomatoes, halved. Two cucumbers, peeled and diced. One teaspoon black pepper. Two avocados, peeled and sliced. Two tablespoons lemon juice. Quarter cup oil. 
Cilantro vinaigrette dressing. Three quarter cup avocado oil or olive oil. Quarter cup sherry vinegar. Two tablespoons jalapenos chopped. Three shallots minced. Two cloves garlic minced. Quarter cup cilantro chopped. Salt and pepper. In a bowl, whisk avocado oil and vinegar to blend. Add the other ingredients and refrigerate for two hours. In a bowl, mix avocados with lemon juice. Brush corn with salt, pepper and oil. Grill for about 20 to 25 minutes. Cool and cut corn from the cob. In a large bowl, combine corn with all the ingredients. Add cilantro vinaigrette and check seasoning. Serve immediately. Garnish on top with cilantro leaves. It's a pleasure having her in Thailand with us. We absolutely love her dishes and we tasted them. That was the highlight. Another highlight is we get to see the behind the scene cooking with Sarah. Great experience. Very well set up and very confidently done. It was a good experience, first time to seeing in front of me. I think the show is very good and uh, we all enjoy the show. And uh, the cooking is uh, teaching the youngsters, the young girls, learn how to cook, and that's a great thing. I think. So we are on our third recipe now. It's a chipotle casserola. Mm, sounds exciting. Yeah. So for which we've got uh, cooked rice, some black beans, diced tomatoes, you can use canned or fresh, cilantro, avocado. You notice we're using a lot of cilantro in Mexican cooking? Yes, a lot of capsicums. Yeah, these are all roasted peppers and chipotle chilies, which are roasted and smoked, dry smoked chilies actually. They kind of add a lot of earthy, a, a spicy flavour to the dish. Can I just have a look? Try. It's hot, you know. You get them in cans in adoba sauce. Those are tastier. Yeah. And if you're using the dry ones, then you soak them and dice them. Then for our white sauce, we got some stock, some Jack Montree cheese. As I said before, if you don't get Jack Montree cheese, use cheddar cheese, okay. sharp cheddar cheese, white flour, olive oil and milk. Okay, so what we do is we start by mixing in our rice ingredients. We'll take some cooked rice, which is cooked and cooled and kept. Black beans, which are canned black beans. They use a lot of beans, refried okay. and... Are these yeah. boiled already? Yeah, they're cooked. Diced tomatoes, cilantro, avocado. Does it make the rice soggy and sticky by putting avocado? It will make it creamy. And oh. it is a casserole. We're going to be cooking it in white sauce. Okay. We're going to bake this dish. Okay, some peppers. What a colourful dish. Yeah. You notice all our dishes are nice and colourful, very visually appealing. Some chipotle chilies. Wow, these are a lot. We put some a little lesser, unless you can really take heat. Have you been to Thailand before, Auntie? Oh yeah, many times. Oh, and is this the first time to Rembrandt Hotel? Rembrandt Hotel? No. I've been here a lot of times. But this is the first time we're doing a shoot here okay. for our cooking. And it's been a great experience. I must say the hospitality in Thailand is great. 
there's a lot of warmth here. Yeah, and I'm sure Rembrandt is no exception. Definitely, that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is one part of our dish okay. where we mixed on our rice and the vegetables. Now okay. what we're going to do is make some white sauce. Usually you make white sauce with butter, but we're going to use olive oil because we've got a lot of cheese going in, which will make up, so we won't uh, use butter here. I'll put in some flour. As the flour starts bubbling, we'll add in some warm milk and some warm stock. Okay. The reason for putting warm milk and warm stock is you'll have to be a bit quick in stirring. Okay. Yes, it's bubbling now. You don't want lumps, you want it to be a smooth mixture. Okay. Any trick? While putting the fire, just have to be as quick as possible. Yeah, this part you have to be quick, and what you're adding should not be cold. Okay. You're bringing the temperature down. Is that room temperature? This is warm. Okay. It should yeah. be hot or warm. Okay. We're adding in milk. Keep stirring. Go on. This is our stock. Whatever stock you have, if you don't have stock at home, uh, use one of those vegetable stock cubes. I'll put more than half of the cheese here. I'll leave a little bit to put on top. Some cumin powder. Some garlic salt. Basically, you have to get a nice smooth sauce. I think it's quite thick and good. So we switch this off. It smells really good. There's a strong smell of cumin. Which yeah. makes it... It's roasted cumin, yes. so it has a very distinct flavour. It's a one-dish meal. You've got your rice, your carbos, you've got beans, you've got all your vegetables, you've got chipotle chilies to spice it up. So, it's a very nice brunch or a lunch, Sunday lunch dish. Yes, Quick it's lunch. couldn't get any better. Yeah. You just try and see if the salt is okay. Yes, I'd love to. It's good. It's perfect. Yeah? It's perfect. Okay. This will go into the oven for a good 20 minutes. It comes out piping, bubbling hot. Put the balanced cheese on top. Put it in the oven till the cheese is melted. And all the flavors will infuse and seep it. So you get the flavors of the roasted peppers, the chipotle chilies and the beans stock all put together and it's beautiful. Chipotle and peppers casserole. Two cups cooked rice. One large jar, approximately 10 ounces roasted peppers. One can black beans. One can diced tomatoes. Two to three tablespoons cilantro chopped. Two to three tablespoons chipotle chilies chopped in adobo sauce. One to one and a half cups Jack Monterey cheese grated. Two avocados peeled and diced. Three to four tablespoons olive oil. Quarter cup plain flour. One cup milk. Half a cup stock or one stock cube. One teaspoon cumin powder. One teaspoon garlic salt. In a bowl, mix roasted peppers, black beans, diced tomatoes, cilantro, avocado, chipotle chilies, rice, and one cup cheese. Heat oil and stir in the flour. Cook over medium to low heat, stirring continuously. When the mixture is smooth and bubbly, add in warm stock, warm milk, cumin, and garlic salt. Boil till the mixture is thickened. Mix the white sauce to the roasted pepper mixture. Spoon the mixture into a grease oven-proof dish. Sprinkle remaining cheese on top and bake for 20 to 25 minutes until bubbly around the edges. Serve. How was the experience today, Shamila? The experience was invaluable. I absolutely love being here and it's a very great honor to be here. But I would definitely, today was all Mexican, but I would definitely join your cooking class to learn about other cuisines, be it Indian, be it Thai and other cuisines. And thank you once again for having me on the show.
we have a surprise for you today. Really? Can you guess what it is? No? You won't guess. From someone very special who's not here and I'm sorry, he should be doing this but I'll do this. A very happy anniversary to you. Oh, thank you so much. This is from Karan. Thank you, Karan. I'm sure he's going to be watching this show. Oh. <laughs> Wish you both a very, very happy married life. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lovely to have you with us. That's just mine. When food is cooked with love, served with love, eaten with love, it not only nourishes your body but also your soul. We're going to be doing some Thai dishes. You're doing great. You're almost a chef already. Like us on Facebook and send us your recipe. The person with the best recipe wins a chance to be on a show. Cook Love Eat with Sarah brought to you by Rembrandt Hotel, Bangkok, Thailand. Red pepper, seafood at its best. Da Vinci, Restaurante Italiano. Signor Pico, Modern Mexican and Tequila Bar. Rang Mahal, Rooftop Indian Restaurant. All located at Rembrandt Hotel, Bangkok, Thailand. Official magazine, India Say, supported by Masala Hot Talk from Thailand's Indian community. Thank <laughs> you.